All right, Tam, well, along those lines, there could be a new way to clean up the environment and it could be part of the future of digital currency. I recently traveled to the Panther Creek plant in Carbon County, PA, which uses the waste from old abandoned coal mines to power a Bitcoin mine. It is 2,800 miles away from Silicon Valley. And yet the borough of Nesquahoning, tucked into a valley in Pennsylvania coal country, is the site of America's newest large-scale Bitcoin mine. What do you think about the Bitcoin mine here? Didn't know they had a Bitcoin mine. My father was a miner years ago, but as far as what you call it, I never heard of it that, that way. Publicly traded Stronghold Digital Mining purchased the Panther Creek Energy Facility, a defunct coal plant in town, to power its Bitcoin mine. Energy industry veteran Bill Spence says he came up with the idea to make money on digital currency while also cleaning up his home state of coal refuse. I think I'm curious, painfully curious. You get the Bitcoin, you get rid of that. Absolutely, there's a direct correlation in art with us with Bitcoin and cleaning up the environment. Workers transport the coal waste from several sites, the largest being the Swoyersville dump site near Wilkesbury. They separate usable coal from the massive piles and use it to generate electricity. Some power is sold back to the grid for profit. Most is used to power and cool this field of computer servers, all hooked up to the blockchain to help process Bitcoin transactions all around the world. The blockchain, an automated computer ledger for Bitcoin, grants Stronghold fractions of Bitcoin as a thank you in return. That is the digital mining park. Hold on, let me step outside so you can hear me. There are 80 trailers on site, each containing 64 computer servers, all of which have been mining Bitcoin for the two hours that we've been here. And in the span of that time, Stronghold estimates that they have mined about one Bitcoin, which according to today's prices means they earn more than $19,100. It's a more sustainable way um, to do transactions. Yes, this is not a zero carbon project. Stronghold is burning fossil fuels to power and air condition these hot, humming, super loud computer servers. But Spence points out Pennsylvania has millions of tons of leftover coal waste piled next to towns, polluting groundwater, sending ash toxins into the air. And this material was dumped in these communities. What we do is we eradicate the problem. Stronghold expects to have the 4 million tons of coal waste at the Swoyersville site cleared in a few years. Pennsylvania's Department of Environmental Protection estimates it would cost more than $5 billion to clean up all of the state's abandoned mines. So it is happy to provide subsidies to companies like Stronghold willing to get rid of the piles for taxpayers even while running a profit. Now, if only the price of Bitcoin would go back to its highs of nearly $70,000 reached only late last year. A couple of final thoughts about Bitcoin, Tam. You know, I was one of those people about 15 years ago where I looked into it and considered buying some and I didn't. I think it was at about $100 trading at that point, kind of kicking myself because as you saw, it's trading at about $19,000. But the thing I can't get over is that you never know what the price is going to be. So it's hard to use a currency where you don't know the value day by day, minute by minute. So I own zero Bitcoin as we speak. There are other digital currencies out there. Some of them have found to be scams. Uh, even some of the posts that I've been uh, putting on Facebook and Twitter uh, promoting this special, a lot of the scams have been uh, trying to get absorbed into that. So you really have to watch out the bottom line. This is a highly, highly risky investment. And if risk is something you can deal with and go right ahead, but I'm kind of agnostic about it right now, Tam. I think there's enough volatility in the stock market right now. I don't need to add any more in there, but sure. I learned a lot from you, Matt. So thank you.